Welcome back, everybody, to The Road Show. This morning in the buzz brought to you by the Comedy Connection. So three beloved childhood toys join the National Toy Hall of Fame lineup. That's right. So the Strong National Museum of Play announced last night My Little Pony, Phase 10, and Transformers will now be inducted into the National Toy Hall of Fame. Now, the three classic toys were chosen by a panel of experts, uh, beating out 12 finalists. The winners are uh, chosen based on their ability to inspire creativity, play, and uh, sustain popularity over the years. So it's the first year all of the Toy Hall of Fame inductees were created in the same decade. That's right. Very cool. I used to have My Little Ponies. Oh gosh, so many of them, like bath toys, sure. and I had like a whole display on my bureau as a right. kid. I used to love them. I had my my matchbox cars, my Hot Wheels, and do you remember um, Weebles? Oh yeah, like Weebles wobbles. Those are like almost like weapons. Weebles wobbles, but Those they don't fall so, down. Yes. They look like little eggs. I mean, for anybody who doesn't know, and they were like they, they were like they you, were like weapons. If you threw if, one. <laughs> It was over. Spike in a window. If you could throw that thing, and you know what it would still do? It would still stand up. Just, <laughs> go. Pop it back and forth. It would, it would back, back and forth. That was dangerous. I loved, I loved the Weebles when I was little. I loved my Matchbox cars. Oh. I had uh, the Star Wars action figures. And then a couple of years ago, I just got rid of it, and I should have been smarter enough to know. I had the giant uh, G.I. Joe uh, action figures. Well, they weren't action figures, because they were the GI, giant G.I. Joe like dolls. They were four okay. action okay. figures. Okay. Because yeah. my aunt worked at Hasbro. Yep. And Hasbro was on the Industrial Highway in Pawtucket at the time. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you could go in there before Christmas and get toys before before, every, every, before everybody was like... Wow, that was like a good insider tip. Bef, so you could go in there and get stuff. So Ugh. we would, I would go in yeah. and get stuff before you could... I love was that. Released. So I, sat, I hung on to all this oh my for gosh. years. I remember when the boys were little, I was trying to think after we did this this morning, um, Thomas the Train yes. was huge when they were little, and it kills me because they had the full set, because, you know, with four of them, we would lo they would love it, right. and I gave, gave them all away. Sure. And I feel like I should have held on to right. them, because I feel like that's something that they, they might want do you someday. Re do you remember Simon? I do remember Simon. I, they still have Simon. I loved Simon. We should bring a Simon in. I had one, and I, and I just got rid of it, like, maybe two years ago. It's, and this wasn't, like, the smaller Simon. This is the it big was, one. It was the bigger Simon. It had four, <laughs> four different colors on it, and the color would light up. Yeah. And then you would have to remember what colors. Were you it, good at it? I was okay at it. I think my sister was probably better we, at it. we got to bring a Simon in. Yeah, I love I haven't Simon. played that in it years. It was like that boom, boom, Yes, boom. yes. Yeah, and then you had to go along with it and do All it right, again. All right, we got to get that. Yeah, yeah And I then like ca Simon. Cabbage Patch for me was always huge. Right. Um, I was telling you guys, you know, that was when, you know, and Brennan brought up Ann and Hope, but I remember my parents would like, you, could, you know, there was no internet. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted one of these toys, you had to go wait in line. Yes. You had to potentially push to get to those like 10 Cabbage Patch dolls that were just standing in the there. In front of the store. But I remember they found one that was called Iona Audrey. Right. And my mom was like, it was just meant and to be. And you still have that. I still have it. It's yes. somewhere at my parents' house. Right. It's all like banged up, but right. it's still out there. But those were huge. The other ones I loved too were the little people. Do you oh, remember yeah. the little people? I they think still that, have that those. Mattel? Mattel little, yeah, they still Mattel's have them. little people. Yeah, the boys love those. And they kind of like fit into different. They fit in, yeah. they stack. They yeah. stacked in everything else. Yeah, that those were cool. That was one of my other favorite, favorite ones that I used to play with all the time. Uh, Brendan, toys. what was your favorite? Well, my brother and I were heavily into the video games. Yes. Like Nintendo was the big thing when we were growing up. But I have a few questions here. Number one, Will, was that Aunt Mary? No, uh, no, it wasn't Aunt, 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 no, Aunt Mary. That wasn't Aunt Mary. This was this was Aunt Sadie. Okay. Yeah. But you know why I'm asking. I know, because she loves you. Aunt Mary's a big fan she of mine. She is a big fan of <laughs> yours. Yes, she is. She's my only fan. <laughs> she should be a big fan. And Audrey, I will tell you, you should not regret the fact that you, that you got rid of that, what is it, Thomas the Train? Thomas the Train. It, it would just be sitting in a corner. You I'm think telling so? you, it, you would just, it, eventually it would become just junk that you wouldn't know how to get rid but of. I'm so bittersweet. I'm like, oh my God, maybe my grandkids can play with uh, it today. Right? Do you know what I mean? I've hung on to, uh, I've got a Lionel train set in my they're basement. They're really I, good. They're good quality. Yeah, it's time for that train to leave the station, no, Will. I can't get it out of your house. I can't. <laughs> I do understand some things you want to hang on to, but yeah. I just find, you know me, no. I'm currently purging all of this garbage I have in my house, and it's time for the stuff to go, so I don't like clutter. But yeah, when you think back to the past and all of those times when you were growing up and you wanted a great item, there's nothing better than no, that. No, you're right. I texted Nick Raybar something very old yesterday, and I said, it was from like 1989, and I said to him, it doesn't get any better than this, and he goes, it really doesn't. <laughs> and when you can hang on to those great sure. memories, there's no better gift. Let's check in with our viewers. Here's what you had to say about this topic today. Toys, items, things you remember from the past. Jackie is up first with a classic. Oh, who doesn't remember these? Oh, yeah. Raggedy Ann and Andy Rag Dolls. Absolutely tremendous classics right there. 
Lori's up next with a throwback. My Miss Beasley doll. Ooh. I still have it wow. after 50 wow. years. Wow. It's just taking up space though, right, Lori? No, I'm just kidding. That's, that's <laughs> so a, bad. I'm kidding. That's a treasure you want to hang on to. Steven is up next. My favorites were Rock'em, Sock'em Robots, and Skittle Bowl. I didn't know what that was. Mm -mm. I don't know what that is. Will and Eric, neither one of the other old men here like me know what that is. And Tanya leaves us with a great comment. Light, bright, and fashion plates were my oh, favorites. Yes. But I also loved good board games as well, like Candyland, mm -hmm. Trouble, and Chutes and Ladders. We can't forget puzzle games like Perfection and Operation, which taught me that I will not be a doctor. <laughs> you step on one of those light, bright pegs. It's over. It's over, Johnny. And then, <laughs> and then Tanya can't perform the surgery to remove it, do it. because she's not a doctor. I still have one of my foot <laughs> from 1970. From 1975. Seven, light bright peg. Thanks for chiming in, everyone. Please follow us. I walk by the light, it lights up. <laughs> oh, Will's here. Will. Please keep those comments coming. Follow us at the Roadshow on all of the social platforms, and you, and you never know. In between all of the hijinks and fun, we may read it right here on the show. That's right. And still to come this morning on.